Hey there everyone, hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to cover several subjects within the Guitar Lab software by Zoom. And today I have my G1X4 Guitar multi Effects Processor hooked up to this software. I'm doing this on a Mac. One thing, I, first thing I want to cover is your maximum amount of effects you could put in the chain, and that is five. But as you can see here, you have six windows open. You're, and I was wondering before, well, why do you have six open, and you can you can only have five in the chain? Well, the simple answer is some of these effects. I'm going to call them effects, even though it may be a a stomp box or amp simulator. Some of these effects have two parameter windows associated with it. So this uh, Marshall JCM 1959, I think it's a JCM, uh, maybe not, but anyway, it's a 59 Marshall. It takes up two parameter screens, which is pretty cool because you have all this control over this uh, amp simulator. And we're going to go into how to use a clipboard function, which is here to the right, which can be helpful if you want to set up a template of effects and not have to go through effects type screens. So let's say as a template, I want to have a, uh, I want to have a Marshall 59 the zoom noise reduction in a Marshall 4x12 greenback cabinet. What you do to save that on the clipboard is you go to the clip icon and you click and highlight the effects you want. I'm doing three because three is the maximum you could put into the clipboard. You can do one, two, or three and uh, nothing greater than that. And once you have the effects that you want as a template into the clipboard, just click it again and it'll pop into the clipboard. Now, this number 49% is indicating how much processor load the patch chain has and so currently this processor chain takes up 64 percent of the uh, digital signal processor inside the zoom g1x4 and this clip takes up 49 percent and it's over it would if i try to drag this clip into this patch it, it won't accept it because it's over 100 percent and in fact you'll see it red here when it's over the amount so what we're going to do next is we're going to fit this clip back in here just make a pretend patch and since we can't drag anything more into this chain I'll show you how to delete effects and then uh, drag your clipboard item into the chain. So currently I'm on a uh, factory preset called Zep 1959, but scroll real quick, quickly to a empty patch that I called Zep 59 version 2 and just described it as a clipboard test. So it was in an empty location, but I'm using it now. So let me click on that. And it's almost the exact same clip. Uh, previously, before doing this video, I just changed this uh, front pedal to a different type of pedal. I believe it was a volume pedal before, and then now it's a vibe pedal. Oh, okay. Originally, it was a black wah pedal. And I set it up in my test as a pedal vibe. Okay, so we're in the same situation where there's going to be a processor overload. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start deleting effects until we can get below this 49%. Uh, I think you only can delete 
one at a time. So you go to the uh, trash can icon and then go to the item that you want to clip out and it disappears and also frees up a uh, parameter window and anytime you have this it's a it's a bypass and it's a space that you can fill with an effect that you want so we're down to 62 percent we'll delete this tape echo down to 54 percent probably want to get rid of one more thing it's still red I think this will change colors once we get enough uh, processor space here delete pedal vibe and there it is it this means you're able to clip this into your effects chain and you see your parameter windows have uh, gone to bypass and what remains is your amp which takes up two parameter windows and your cabinet which takes up one parameter window so to add the clip you go to add and this cursor will show you at what point you'll be inserting an effect or in this case a clipboard item It usually comes up with a save message, at least for me, if you uh, want to confirm the save. And it's basically asking, uh, do you want to save this new change into the same location, which is 59. And I want to do that. Press OK. And there you have it. You have... Marshall 59 go into a Marshall 4x12 greenback cabinet into another Marshall 1959 with noise reduction into another Marshall 4x12 greenback 59 uh, greenback cabinet and as you can see down here if you if you wanted to add this clip you can't because it'll go over the processor load limit in fact it's at 92 percent and if you look up here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parameter windows. And let me stress, you only can have five maximum effects up here in your chain. But the reason why you have more than five parameter windows is some of these effects take up to two windows. And in this case, each amp takes up two parameter screens. So your Marshall 1959 takes up two windows of parameters which is cool because that means more parameters to play around with your cabinet takes up one and then you have another Marshall 1959 and you have these parameters you can play around with which takes up two screens your noise reduction takes up one screen and your cabinet takes up one screen that's why you have seven windows even though the maximum number of quote effects is five up here so I hope that helps and I'll have more videos out on other functions in this Zoom Guitar Lab software we'll see you later